Welcome back. Governorship aspirants on the platform of the All Progressives Congress in River State have signed a peace accord agreeing to support any one of them that emerges as the party's governorship flag bearer. The aspirants in a communique issued at the end of their meeting in Port Hackett, the River State capital, uh, on Monday, said they have resolved to collapse their political structures in favor of any one of them that secures the party's governorship ticket. They also resolved to zone the seat of the governorship to the River and Ijo area of the state. And uh, joining us to discuss this is a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress in River State, um, uh, Honorable Golden Choma, good evening to you. Thank you very much for your time. Good evening. All right. Uh, uh, as a member of the party, the All Progressives Congress, and a, a chieftain of that party, what are your, what's your reaction to the news that the aspirants for the position of uh, flag bearer or governor on the platform of your party have um, uh, zoned the governorship ticket to the River and Niger on their own? It's a not zoned by anybody. The party has not zoned the office. And the last time the office was zoned was in 2014. And it was zoned to the river southeast. And it has not changed at this time. So what I'm aware of is that the senatorial zone the river southeast, is supposed to produce the governor. In that same senatorial zone, we have the Ijo elements also. And we have the Ogonids. So that senatorial zone should produce. And that is the zoning I'm aware of. That was done in 2014. And since then, no governor has come from that zone since 1999. That's talking about River Southeast. Yes. Okay. Uh, but are you not aware of the, the, the meeting by these um, governorship aspirants? And the statement was signed by uh, Dawari George. Yes, I'm aware of it because it's also in the media, in, in, in the news. But let me explain to you. What you saw was an amalgamation of people who are scared of Senator Magnus Abbe, who is supposed to come from the river southeast because of his candidature the benefactor of all those you saw single-handedly did say that he was zoning it unilaterally without consultation with anybody that it will go to the river right which is now which means now that all parts of the state including the senatorial zones that have produced governors before are up for it, leaving an entire territorial zone that have not produced the governor. For me, it will not hold water. But they have the right to so claim, to so agree that if they have, if any of them becomes the candidate, that they would collapse their structures. But I doubt the structures they have, apart from one or two of them, the rest do not have any structure. So, so we're looking at um, you are saying it's it's, it's based. At the, are you saying the the zoning formula, even if it's unwritten in River State, is based on a senatorial uh, uh, district arrangement? Or because yes. I, I know the upline River Rhine uh, um, arrangement, some call it dichotomy in River State, having worked there for and lived there for ten years. Um, should it not be an upline River Rhine thing? Yes, uh, coffee. The state right now, the issue of river Rhine and upland is no longer tenable. There is virtually no part of river state that car cannot get to. Prior to now, we used to say that the river Rhine people have to go to waterside before you have to get to Bonny waterside for you to get to Bonny. But as I speak with you now, the road leading to Bonny is 95% completed. Cars get to Abonima and Bukuma. Cars get to Opopo. So we're no longer, there's no longer the issue of river riding and upland that could to move. We are all reverse people. Yeah. If we want to say that ethnicity should be the bane of distribution of offices, then we'll know about that. We'll go, we'll go to that. In 1999, it went 
to the other territorial zone, where the Calabaris belong to. In 2007, he came to my territorial zone, where the Okrikas belong to, and the Minister of Transportation went. Now he's supposed to go to the other territorials of the River Southeast. And let me explain to you, in 2014, when it was properly zoned to the River Southeast, it was between two candidates, Senator Magnus Abbey and writer uh, uh, Dakuku Bittasai. Both of them qualify because they come from that territorial zone. And it was between both of them. But just because of the fact that Senator Magnus has gone forward to tell the whole world that he's competent and capable for the office, which they are all aware of. To just, the reason why they are trying to microzone it to the it just talk is only to deny a competent, capable individual from aspiring for the office. That's the only thing. But, but it is, it's Senator Magnus Abe, you know, does even have an aspiration to be the next uh, governor of Riverside to vie for the position of, of, of governor on the platform of the APC? Because well, when I checked, his name was not on the attendance register of that meeting. Yes. Uh, just as I said, the meeting was called by the other faction of the All Progressive Congress in River State. And if you also look at the people that signed that list, they all share the same benefactor, the Right Honorable Chibukiro Tuna Mitchell. And what they have espoused in that letter is to say that they are loyal and subservient to their benefactor. And that I give to them. Okay. And I'm very aware that Senator Magnus Abbey is a man aspiring to lead the River State on his own accord based on his competence. Mm. So, so, so um, if, if he aspires to, to, lead, to lead River State, uh, will it be fair, because uh, of course we know that there's been some sort of division in the party, uh, will it be fair to say that all those who are aspiring, you know, the likes of Tony Eko, the likes of Dakuku Peter side, um, the likes of Dawari George, uh, the likes of um, uh, uh, the former chairman of the APC in, in, in River State and uh, former chairman of Asarito local government area, and co. Would it be fair to say that they um, are, you know, loyal to Rotimi Amechi when in times past we know that the APC in River State would have had one candidate you know, one person, and all of them, would that's a consensus candidate. You rightly said in 2015, it was Dakuku Adol Peterside. In 2019, it was Tony Eko. And this time around, we're seeing that as many as 10 of them have come out. So th that shows, doesn't that show that there is some sort of freedom and that not one person is being dictated to a push forward, rather, as the consensus candidate? Um... I'm of the opinion that all those you saw who signed, or those who signed that paper derived their powers from right on the Chibukiro to Miyamichi. I don't think, except one or two of them, that has the zeal and capacity to claim to wanting to contest on his own accord. Apart from that, the rest of them are hinging on the wings or the aprons of the minister. And I'm saying that we have passed that level. In the state, we are an opposition party. We need a credible and competent candidate to face the party in the state. It is no longer party as it's no longer uh, the issue where somebody will say that I've anointed one person. We want people to aspire, we want people to show their capacity to take it off the mantle of leadership. I wish them well in their endeavors, but I'm only saying that where, what you have seen there is a conglomeration of those loyal to the minister. But I also want to disagree with you. In 2019, it was not to be because the APC was also not on the ballot. But the APC had two parallel congresses. One produced Senator Magnus Abbey, the direct premise, and the other one, the indirect one, produced a coal. Unfortunately, the court decided otherwise, and that we didn't have a candidate. But for, for you to say that 
in 2019. No. The party was not on the ballot in, in well, 2019. Well, 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 I wouldn't want us to go into that because I think that is what's under the yeah. bridge now. But um, um, I just want to go through the names of those who were um, at that meeting. I, I, I was actually George Tolofari um, I was trying to refer to. Uh, but the names there uh, name, well, include um, Prince Toya Prinzel, um, who you know very well, Dr. Dakuku Peterside, that's number two, Dr. Dawari George, number three, architect Toya Ko, um, who, whom you've just talked about, number four, engineer Biopo Mabo Awara, number five, you have Honorable Ojuka Flaga Makri, number six, Honorable Mina Tenda, that's number seven, you have Honorable Ibinabo Michael West, number eight, Sokonte Davis. Uh, and then, of course, the final one is Chief Francis Ada. Um, so, if these are the candidates of the All Progressives Congress or the aspirants, why wasn't Magnus Abe at that meeting? Bearing in mind, we have one chairman of, of the APC. We have one APC now in River State, united under one chairman. Hello. Uh, yes. Yes, Kofi, you're making statements I wouldn't want to join issues with you. No. I've heard you have allowed those controversial aspects outside this interview. But let me tell you one or two things. Senator Magnus Abbey, I'm not speaking for him anyway, maybe he wasn't invited. Two, he is not, he is not a protégé of the Minister for Transportation. Just as I've said, all those there draw their influence or their support from the minister. Now, from the names you, re you read out there, you will find out that there's a common denominator. They will claim to come from the INC part of River State. That I give to them. But the election we're talking about will not be decided by the INC part of River State alone. So it comes to the fact that we have senatorial zones already, which could be referred to as administrative uh, convenances. And let me explain to you, all aspects or all parts of the senatorial zone of River State have river right elements, if you want to go to that. So this zone we're talking about is the River East that have not produced the governor. Okay. And that is where the governor should come from. Anybody oh. from that senatorial zone is qualified by me. All right. All, 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 all right. But how about the, the, the fact that you've had, if you go back to, you've talked about senatorial zoning, but if you go back to the upland river right zoning, yes, I know you said, you know, you can now drive a car to, to Opobo. Uh, but we all know that the Pobo is still a so-called upline or the Ijo rivers, if you want to call it that. We're talking about places like uh, over 10 local government areas, Andoni local government area, Opobo Nkoro local government area, Boni local government area, Okrika local government area, Ogubolo local government area. You know, we have Asaritoro, Degema, Akukutoru, and Abuadual. Even Port Harcourt South is what they call it. Um, we've had people from the so-called upland parts of River State in power for this will be 16 years, Honorable Chairman. This will be 16 years. So would it be fair to, to allow um, a, a so-called... 20 years. 20 years, okay. Would it be, yes. uh, would it be fair to allow a so-called uh, so maybe um, senatorial zoning where possibly an upland person will still become governor? Yes. In a state where the Ijo Rivers people control, like you said, INC, Ijo National Congress, control... About 10, not less than 10 local government areas. Kofi, politics is all about numbers. Let us not reduce this thing to issue of ethnicity. I come from a chair local government area. And in the last 21 years, if I'm not mistaken, my ethnic group has not gone to the Senate. What we are talking about here has to do with the governor of River State. Everybody is eminently qualified irrespective of your ethnic grouping. In 1999, the Benito Isokere lost the governorship with whiskers. He would have been the governor of River State. It has nothing to do where you come from. Let's be fair to ourselves. The Benito Isokere would have been the governor in 1999. 
Um, Dr. Odile, who, who became the governor in 1999, was from a minute ethnic group, if you want to put it that way. He's a minority in a local government, which is uh, our, our, our Niagara. His ethnicity or his ethnic group is a minority in that local government. But he became the governor in 1999. He has nothing to do with your local government. He has nothing to do with your population spread. In 1999, Senator Wilson lost in the political intrigues to Dr. Odile. What I'm trying to explain to you, Kofi, we should not reduce our governorship position to ethnic space. No, I don't agree with anybody. Okay. All right. Even, 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 even all the those, fact, sorry, uh, honorable chairman, see, even the I fact promise, that the People's no, Democratic Party has names like the current secretary to the state government, has names like Conocrent, special assistant to the governor on projects, uh, 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 Dax, George Kelly, and, and so yeah. on and so forth. These are the names being peddled. Uh, it seems the PDP yeah. might be tending towards a River Rhine Ejo person, a uh, candidate. Should that not even be an indication of of this? Yeah, um, to feel, let me explain to you. I'm not a member of the People's Democratic Party, but I'm very aware that the PDP is waiting for who clinches the ticket in APC. I can tell you authoritatively, if the APC makes a decision to give it to the equal stock, PDP will be running down to get an equal candidate. The River State is an APC state. We mishandled our opportunities in 2014 and 2019 not to be in charge of the state. As I speak with you, all the names you have mentioned in the PDP are because of the fact that they are of the opinion that because of the uh, position of the right, the Honorable, the Minister for Transportation, that the party may be looking towards that angle. So they are also going there. But I do not want to join issues with them. I wish them were. Okay. But right. I, will, I want to tell you that the party, APC, will do the right thing right at this point because we need to be in government in 2023. All right. We can't afford to be out of government for right. another eight years. Okay, but but you 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 are confirming that the APC now in River State is is together united under one chairman and one leader. You're 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 joining. You're you're raising issues. I also do not want to answer. But let me answer you because you have brought it up for the second time. The party and the national have recognized a faction, and that we must all agree. They have recognized my friend on the other side as the chairman. That does not mean we do not exist. We are still a faction. We still maintain our faction. We still strive to make sure that oh, the party oh, 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 comes who, who is your chairman as a member of the APC in River State? You, you're a member of the press. And you have the opportunity to, so, <laughs> to investigate who was recognized. All right, all right, all right. Thank you very much, yeah. uh, uh, Golden Shema, right. former member of the River State House of Assembly, uh, former chairman of a faction of the APC in River State, um, he's been our guest tonight. Thank you for your time, sir, and see you sometime soon. Thank you very much. And that's the size of our package right here on Plus Politics. We return tomorrow, but thank you for staying with us. I'm Kofi Bartels. Enjoy the rest of our programming.